treacherous band of motorcycle hoodlums had been terrorizing the countryside. My assignment was to apprehend the gang and bring them in for disturbing the peace of rats. I soon picked up the trail of Pigal, the leader of the gang. Halt in the name of the law! Ah, shut up, copper! Very well, I shall riddle your tires with gunshots. <laughs> I got bulletproof tires! And uh, <laughs> to you too, wise guy, huh? My tires are also bulletproof. Unfortunately, the rest of my car was not bulletproof. Undaunted by this temporary mishap, I quickly held a cab. I am a police officer. Now you follow that motorcycle, eh? Come back here, you fool! I decided to ride on the running board. <laughs> like in the movies, you know. <laughs> Stop, you fool! Or I'll be forced to shoot at you. <laughs> Go get lost, you stupid copper! Why, that swine, I'll show him. Got him, eh? That's a blind alley. Stop the taxi here, driver. When I say stop, I mean stop. <laughs> I decided to fight fire with fire. <laughs> Only a man with amazing powers of deduction, such as myself, could possibly have discovered the gang's secret hideout. There is somebody coming! Uh, it's that dumb cop that give me a hard time in the city. Hey, what do you say we have some fun with him, eh, boys? <laughs> that copper will be the first guy to hit Skid Row on the way up! <laughs> <laughs> Having made quick work of my two pursuers, I went back to finish off the rest of the gang. All right, big Al. Come out with your hands up high. Is this high enough for you, Copper? Bombs away! Oh, no! This explosive finale ended the riotous career of Pigal and his shiftless gang. On the way back to headquarters, the commissioner congratulated me on a very fine job. 
He told me how proud he was of the way which I handled this whole affair. He was quite obviously very much impressed. It's always gratifying to know when you've made a big hit with the boss. 